All right, it's another day. We're continuing on with this N14. I don't even know where I left off. It's been so chaotic. Truck's breaking down, and I had to go out yesterday and pull a drive motor out of an excavator. Here it is. Um, this shaft seal was leaking like a sieve. And normally I would do like a case drain test to make sure there wasn't any internal issues going on with the drive motor. But I learned that this was recently replaced by Cat. Replaced this. Is that O-ring damage too? Anyway, um, I don't know if you can see this at the camera. Let's see if we can find a spot to lay this and you can see it a little better. See the damage on that seal? Somebody really butchered this thing up when they installed it. This, it's got a rolled lip right here too. So anyways, it's a 50 by 72 by seven millimeter seal and nobody's got one, I ordered one. So anyway, I got that diagnosed and all that figured out. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to remember where that went. But... So I'm doing this N14. I got the exhaust manifolds on. Um, let's go over a few things that I might not have touched on because the service calls and the chaotic nature of everything. So the rocker boxes get put on and they get set to torque down to... I'm trying to remember now. 85 foot-pounds, if I remember correctly. And then the JCADs, the injectors will go in. The injectors, the rocker boxes have a flat spot on, and then the, the injector hold-down crab has a protrusion on it that sets down on the flat spot of the injector. Let's see if I can... Uh, you can see it right in there. See the, the protrusion of that injector hold-down crab? It actually sets on top of the, it, the rocker box itself and helps hold the rocker box down. The injectors are torqued down to 30 foot pounds uh, a piece and make sure, you know, uh, there's what, three O-rings. Um, here's all the old O-rings. There's a, a, the biggest one's a brown one. The next size up is the white one. And the narrowest size is the blue one. So put all new O-rings on there. Um, anyway. So I got all that on there. And I'm trying to think where I'm at now. I saw I've adjusted the valves. I haven't adjusted the jakes yet. I got to do that. Those are set to 23,000. So we're going to do that. Got the exhaust manifold on. New gaskets at uh, 35 pounds in sequence. Just... Just go corner, you know, start in the middle, go this one, this one, this one, this one, then this one, this one, this one, this one, and you can figure out the rest. 35 foot-pounds in sequence, then 60 foot-pounds in sequence. Now we've got the um, turbo to put on. And I got some anises on those studs. Son of a gun. Already cleaned that up. That's the pressure fitting there. That's actually going to go right in there. equalizing valve for that truck that run out of fuel on the driver's side thing. Must be having one of those coming. You know they used to the older trucks in the old days had bottom feeds on the tanks. 
and all this newer stuff's had top feeds, and now they got these fancy valves that seem to be problematic with things. Uh, the old style, there was drawbacks to those two. Uh, the old style, the problem you had with those is, is uh, the bottom feed, especially if you're out in the woods in an off-road truck, you hit a, a limb or something like that, that come up and rip the line off the bottom of the tank. So that was one of the drawbacks. Okay, I got that one tightened up. I'm gonna find the 9 sixteenths. Basically, three eighths bolts go to thirty five foot pounds. Glasses back on because I can't see nothing. Can't really read these damn torque wrenches anymore.
Well guys, I got it running, but I got a fuel leak. I'm gonna have to probably pull this front rocker box jk back off. Um, 
one of my crossovers. I must have got the O-ring not in there quite right or something. See the fuel dripping on the ground there. Um, let's check the oil on it again. I'll show you. Running down the side of the block here. Gotta fix that. Let's check the oil on it again. But the good news is it looks like my rockers and everything are oiling the way they're supposed to. That's good news. This will probably be another one I won't get paid for. The guys are not paying their bills, man. People just are not paying. That guy with the, the dozer that I went and got and rescued him was just seriously pissing me off. Seriously pissing me the fuck off. Not paying then I don't mind it, but when you lie to me, you know, telling me that you're going to pay me at a certain day, and then you don't even, you don't do it. Uh, you know. Let's start it up again. I think they're both leaking. Can I get down in there? What if I just pull? What if I... If I pull the J kids, that's even better, but... The good news is there's no spun cam bearings. It's oil and all, everything on the top. So that's the good news. Bad news is the stupid crossover is leaking, which I don't really understand why, because everything was right there. I didn't have any problems. All right, let's get a long screwdriver and get in there, see if we can get them loose. Okay, I think. Now I'm trying to find a place to put this camera. Here comes the fly boys. Son of a gun, anyway. It's always something, ain't it? So far, this is the least of my problems, and I won't be too disappointed. Must have got something wrong when I put the O rings in there and smashed one or. Yeah, a pair of long needle nose pliers. Grab them. I don't know if these will work or not. They're kind of 45 degree, but they're long ones. Can't even 
get that son bitch out of there with them Jake heads on there. And is there a way that I could hold it up? Staying, it's kind of wedged in there. Let's go shine a light in on the other side where we can see what the hell's going on. One of the motor rings must not be in there, right? I can't really tell from this angle. Those two are in there correctly, but I can't even see. Well guys, I went down to Fleet Pride. They had, he had one crossover plate. I don't see nothing wrong with the one I pulled out of there. And four O-rings is all he had. I don't know if the cross section on the O-rings I had in there were different. I don't know what the hell's going on to be completely honest with you. So, I'll just show you real quick, kind of a little way to do this. If I can find the rest of my stuff here. I guess I could put the valve. Well, I need to torque the. I need to torque this one back down. This one's done. Um, what was the torque on the uh, Jake heads? Uh, I think they're 85, aren't they? And 14 Jake head torque. I uh, see here. I had this on my phone here earlier. Let's look at this up here, okay? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, I don't give a shit, whatever. I uh, tighten the rocker lever housing cap screws. Uh, 85 foot pounds. Torque value. So the engine brake housing, washer cap screws, they're 75 foot pounds. Let me torque this one. We're gonna have to pull this one back off. At least, ow! Um, but no, I got the center one fixed. I don't, it's kind of weird. I've never had those leak like that before. It's almost, I used the O-rings out of the, out of the overhaul kit. Then, then, of course, then you're wondering, oh, did I hook up like the supply and returns backwards or some stupid thing? But I don't know how it would even run. If you did that. I probably could have got my. I probably could have got my uh, half inch drive for this, but. And you can do these without pulling the rocker boxes. It's kind of tricky, but you can do it. I'll show you how. Okay, at least I want to get the valve cover on it and get it buttoned up because the less stuff you can have exposed with dirt and shit getting in a brand new motor, the better off you're going to be. Get this old thing together and we're going to wash it again. Take her over there to the pressure washer and wash her up again. I didn't really clean the tops of these valve covers off when I had them off, so I'll take the pressure washer and blow them off. And I'm going to take this valve cover off.
And we'll take this rocker bar or jig head off. And the center one. some kind of new problem that it seems like you've never run into before I've done a bunch of these and I've never had crossover lines right after I got done leak like that I don't I don't know I don't know if there's a little minute difference in the cross sections of the o-rings or what anyway well it is what it is Your magnet. I brought one out here and I just had it in my hand. There it is. Take your magnet and get the screws out. Like a so. They call that hydraulic shop and ask them if my shaft still for my well, it motor for my excavator showed up. Probably not, but we'll get that done and get it billed out. Those guys actually pay their bills. Most of these some bitches here lately aren't paying their bills. They're all in a big hurry, you know. Not in a hurry to pay you. And the guy that does the work, he's always the one they want to make payments to and everything, you know. Can I make payments to you? Why don't you make payments to the multi-million dollar outfit that you bought the parts from? the fat man busy dancing while the poor man pays the band I didn't want the whole son of a bitch to come up but that's what it did okay what you do I got a pair of long needle nose, I'll show you here. You gotta... Uh, reach in there. On that crossover plate, there's not really a good place to put you. What you do is... Grab it by the side and you gotta turn it. It'll come out of there. Come out sideways. What you gotta do, you can keep a hold of it. There you go. And obviously, you have to put it back in sideways. Now, I noticed on this one, it looked like it was leaking. Like the ones on the back weren't leaking, but the ones on this side were. It's kind of weird. I 
You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing an O-ring that looks like it's smaller cross-section than all the ones I had in there before. That's what I'm seeing. I think I got one O-ring mixed up, and that's probably... Yep, I bet that's my cause of all my troubles right there. Let's see if I can grab it with this one. Them other ones look all the same size. Get a hold of this. Let's go inspect and compare it with other O-rings out of that kit over there. <clears throat> they don't look right. I must... My eyes are getting to where they're just shit, folks. They really are. Anything up close like that, just they're just shit. Let me see if I can get these in my hand and really... Where's my glasses at? Take a really good close look at these things. That O-ring is... Is narrower than that one is. These all look the same size to me. All right, well, hang on, I'm gonna clean that up. See a little bit of dirt fell down in there. I'm gonna clean that up. We'll put these, but the way I wanna clean it up is with a blower nozzle, so. I think I can't do it with those O-rings in there, or I'll blow them all out. I just dropped it down in the hole. There, it's gone. It's gone, or that's all right. I got more. That one there might even be a little bit different. Damn, I think it is. I'm going to use these four. Those all look identical. Okay. Let's take the blower nozzle wherever it might have went. And blow that off. And then we'll put it back together and try it again. Now I got the front one to quit leaking. Okay. Same thing, just basically take your needle nose pliers and the screwdriver and work them back into the recesses. Yeah, I just must have grabbed a wrong, a wrong O-ring out of that rebuild kit. And so that what I had, I had one with too small of a cross-section on it. So it obviously wasn't squeezing down correctly and sealing up. There's one.
Okay, there's that one. Okay, there's that. Now I'll take that. I don't have another new crossover plate, so take it in there sideways just like that. Then you gotta get it flipped back upright. Be kind of tricky. This one's not being very friendly to me. Of course, I'm videoing this one. Oh, she's kind of being a real ornery bitch. Being a real ornery bitch is what she's being. Okay, there it is, guys. I got it. Now I take your long needle nose pliers and put your screws back in. One more. A three H wrench fell down here somewhere. I need to go find that so I can really get them tight. Must have done that on both of them. The only thing I can think of, I had only one mismatched O-ring on both of them. I just didn't catch it. All right, find my wrench. Okay, let's see. I might just cut it off, you know what? I can tell you right now, it's not going to be easy to get off of there. It's so hard and brittle. <sighs> Jesus. That is some hard ass. It's probably original. Man, what am I cutting into here? Oh yeah. Okay, let me. 
wonder if that's maybe like a you got some towels in here no that's not a, thought for a second that I cut through a refrigerant line that's not possible because the refrigerant lines are over here hang on what if it's this one here that I just Take this one off here. It's not very easy to get on. Golly, what a fucking pain in the ass, man. Both of those are loose now. Well, my experience has been with these when the, these hoses get like this. This is how you rip the damn nipple off the heater core. I'm trying to get that hard ass brittle son of a bitch off of there. It's been on there for so damn long. Hey, well, that is one hard ass, brittle son of a gun. How are they? Some kind of grommet or something right here. Might be a lot of fun trying to get that out of there, you know? What? Gonna draw it on there. It's gonna be good times. That's what that's gonna be. We'll see if we can pull it through. Ah. Yeah, if you young guys that are just doing this, if you see hoses like this don't fuck around change them no matter how hard they are to get to just change them and this is something that can really hang you right here this is an old rotten hose ah. okay there's that one I mean, this was just to see, this is a very good decision. Look at that. It's wet around it too. So it would have blown out and just caused a huge problem. Problems that we just don't need. We've got plenty of problems without creating them for ourselves. Um, gotta get it through these there's a bunch of eyes and stuff here I'm just gonna cut it I wonder if I can get the new hose to go through it easier well I don't really want to cut it because 
I don't really want to cut it because I need the links. So. I guess we'll just take the brackets loose.
thumbs up on the thermostat that way we can make sure it's full full of coolant i flushed that green he wanted red in there and i said well take a little bit of time i want to flush as much as that green so i just left the pet cock open and then uh and just bumped the idle up like this and took the water hose and stuck it in the top of the radiator and just just kept flushing and flushing until it got clear i think i got probably 99 percent of that stuff out of there well i gotta put the hood on i need to go drive it how's the fan does the fan work fan is not coming on why is the fan not okay let's see what's going on with that 